morning Instafam. On our last video, we showed this car with loose timing chains and... Wow. Well, that's supposed to be really tight. Today, we are going to do the repairs and be replacing the timing chains, guys. First thing that we do is we pull off the valve cover, remove some of the engine coverings and plastic trim pieces. We move the charge pipe from this side because we are gonna have to remove this engine mount to get the oil pan off so we can replace the oil pump timing chain as well. So the next step we're gonna be doing is removing the oil pan, but I wanted to show you guys your engine mounts, which are also a very common item that fails on the N20 engines. These mounts have not failed yet, and when they do fail, this gap in between the rubber bumper and the aluminum arm will be non-existent and the arm will be resting on this rubber mount. And then it's gonna make the car vibrate and you get a lot of resonance inside the vehicle. At the point of removing the subframe, it doesn't take any more labor to swap those out. So it would just be a parts replacement at that point. All right. So as you see, we have the oil pan removed. A million times easier when you do pull this arm off to get access to the oil pan bolts. If not, they are in nightmare. We're going to remove the oil pan or the oil pump pickup. And we have to then set the motor at top dead center and put in all of our jigs to lock the motor in EDC. But the oil pump pickup has got to get removed and there is a lock that slides through this plug right here and that's what locks the balance shaft in place. You can see that I have my hook tool connected to that plug and we're going to pull that plug off and that's where we lock the crank in top head center. Right now we are ready to put the pin in to lock the motor in TDC. This is a factory BMW tool, part number 110300. This is what we use. This is an aftermarket tool. I don't know if you can see the bend, but this aftermarket one lasted one torque and this thing bent. So I would highly recommend getting the OEM tools. That locks the balance shaft is this tool. And I would highly recommend also using the BMW OEM tool because the aftermarket ones, I had one shear off in the oil pump. So I would stick with using the factory tool, but I'll show you where this goes right now. All right, so we just set the car in TDC, top dead center. There's a hole inside the flywheel that I'm gonna show you using a borescope. So you can see the little hole that's in the flywheel and that's where your special tool slides into. Once that is in place, you should not be able to move your central bolt forward or backwards it should be locked in place all right so we went underneath as we saw earlier and we put the pin in through the flywheel to lock the engine in place in tdc and we came up top and we put the fixture on our camshafts to make sure that our cams are also locked in TDC. so as we lock the camshaft we also have to lock the pump the balance shaft and we use the bmw special tool right there basically you take the bolt out for the oil pickup and this slides in and then locks that in place. So now we are ready to start loosening up all the central bolts and cam bolts and all of those items. at it again guys we have removed the central bolt the front hub is loose as we speak we got the oil pump chain tensioner we got it loose and it, this is pinned and basically right now it is time to pull off the front hub and we can disconnect 
like this and then we can go up top. I have already removed the dowels from the guide rails and then we're ready to basically pull up the timing chain. So, so let me go ahead and pull this thing off. Very cool. They want to come over here and check out the, uh, the pins that I have removed. This is what they look like. This is the driver's side lower, driver's side upper, passenger side lower. So we have the Vanos units removed. We have the dowels removed. And basically this is the last bolt holding this piece in. And then we're going to unbolt this and then pull the cassette and chain out. Back at it again, so we, this is day two of timing chains. We actually just got it all assembled and like road tested it. Everything seems great. I wanted to show you the chain and the new guide. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. No problem. There's the old chain that we pulled out. And these are the guys that we have just replaced. And you can see in the bottom that these two pieces have separated. Wow. Just wanted to address all the hate that N20s and N26s get. Because I don't believe that it's true. Um, I believe that it's a very solid platform that have weak timing chains on the earlier production cars. But it's a simple fix. It's not too expensive and you can get another 100,000 plus miles out of enjoyment. I put my daughter on one for her first vehicle and I have no issues with her driving to school and doing anything thing with it. It's a very reliable car, especially after you do the time of change. Thanks again for checking out one of our videos. Here at Atlas Motor Company, our BMW inventory gets refreshed every single week. We're gonna have fresh new content for you on a weekly basis. If you like what you guys saw, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you get alerts, and we'll see you next time.